while I learned painting. I decided to create this video because I've been receiving lots of inquiries about <clears throat> acrylic painting. As much as I want to paint but what I like but might as well answer the inquiries and that I made a simpler painting with lots of freedom and colors. Um, I'm hoping that I'll convince you to pick some paint and start learning the skills of painting. If you're watching this video, you are probably someone who is interested in painting or in the arts but was not able to pursue it because something or someone discouraged you and this is the right time for you to learn. Before answering what is acrylic painting, might as well get into generic question why learn painting. Why will you invest time, money, and effort on a skill by which is not common in the corporate industry? As of the time of producing this video, I have been doing self-study of acrylic painting and I am excited to share with you what I have discovered. Number one, it provides visual pleasure. Seeing a beautiful artwork gives us that good feeling, especially if it's an object that you can relate. Much like eating food for the mouth and hearing music for the ear. And artwork also gives us sensation. For example, if you feel broke and you saw Tutankhamen's treasure, surely you will have that feeling of majesty and wealth. It can inspire us to paint as if we ourselves can build our own wealth inside the canvas. Number, number two, relieves the tension of day-to-day -day life. Painting sets us free from the norms of our daily lives. Every day we face the society's structural world that we need to comply. Once we are creating a painting, we start and create a world inside our canvas. A world that you own and that only you can understand. Painting requires lots of focus, isolating your mind from anxieties. Number three, escape from reality. It's normal to feel that you want to travel to another place, but in reality, you're still stuck in your workstation, waiting for your shift to end or get your project approved. If you paint your dream place to go, you will be recharged with positivity and that feeling of hope that you will get there someday. In melancholic times, you can also paint the real world. Have you ever wondered why there are artworks about the underworld? which are dark and strange which somehow you feel the same once in a while number four records time more than its aesthetic value painting serves as a window of time past from the gods that ruled the earth the pharaoh whose fame lasted for eternity and the untamed pop culture of modern times Painting has been there from the dawn of humanity and is forever embedded in our psyche. Number 5. Potential source of income. This is the most interesting part when you started to earn. Painting nowadays can work in three ways. It can be the physical version, the digital, and art blogs. You can promote it through various social media networks and online advertisement. Each requires additional tools and skills. The physical version is the actual painting that you will ship to customers. Others work with galleries to gain public exposure on, of their works. The digital copy is a file image captured by a scanner or a camera. It can be edited into various versions using photo editing tools like Photoshop. 
it can be sold and downloaded online depending on the terms of the artist. Art blogs of the painting process can be used as entertainment or e-learning. You can create a YouTube channel and monetize it or you can apply it as tutorials to online e-learning websites. For the subject of my painting, this is the Anubis Shrine which was discovered in the Valley of the Kings in 1922. It is believed that Anubis Shrine was used in the funerary procession of Pharaoh before being placed up in front of the canopic chest. This also symbolized the iconic role of God Anubis as guardian of the necropolis. So I hope you like my video on why you should learn to paint. I hope it helps you on your art journey to success and beyond. By the way, I'm a graphic designer. I also create websites, motion graphics, and video editing. So to know more of my services, please visit my website sanjakal.com to see the gallery of my artworks. I posted this on Reddit Egypt community. I entitled this my painting of Anubis Shrine with grungy background. So I received 79 upvotes, 1 silver award, 4,000 total views, 98% upvote rate, 1.6 community karma, and 0 total shares. Then I have two comments from Megalovania Sonic. He said Anubis is underrated compared to other Asian Egyptian creatures. Change my mind. And you scored who also followed me. He said it's underrated. Well, actually, I do not know if. It's about the representation of Anubis or is it about the painting? By the way, I also received a message saying that please stop painting Egyptian gods. Uh, it's a haram. I said, I don't care about your haram. I will paint whatever I want. Yeah, I'm such a brat. <laughs>